So in this video, we'll try to learn that simple UI changes that UI design. So suppose when we run that form, we see that minimize, maximize option, how to display that in center, how to change that icon and other things. So now I will move back to Visual Studio. So in Visual Studio, I've just created that simple WPF application. So now, uh, first thing is that uh, if you see that here, document outline, uh, if we click on this, so we can see that how many things are there. So since we have that grid here, so it displaying that we have created many windows right now. So when you select this, this will be helpful when you're doing redesign of if we have multiple controls on our form. So from there, you can go to properties. Now, if we wanted to know that how to change that resize, minimize, maximize. So basically for all those things, Windows state, and I will make this one a little bit wider. Okay, startup location and Windows style. These are those things that basically going to do that our work. So now first thing we'll try to understand that what is Windows startup location. Right now it's manual. I will go ahead and make that center screen. So what it will be happen and if we go and see that here it's added one new line okay in the jamal as well so if we do any property change it's automatically take care of in that jamal part so for the starting point we can use that property and we can do that once we'll get two of those things we can use that the jamal part so now if i go ahead and run that we can see now it will come in that center okay and started coming in that center in place of coming top so now if i go ahead and if i go i will do that property again so now i think here i put that so now if we put that manual and if we run that how it was there starting so it's going to display on the top side not in that center so now first thing we got to understand that if you put that here windows a startup location center then it will display in that center now Next thing, Windows state, right now it's normal. If I go to make that minimize or maximize. So you put that maximize and it's added it here as well. So right now it's opening in uh, a small size. After this, it will open directly in maximize way. If I go ahead and click that start now. So we can see that it's coming on complete that windows, how much space we have here. Okay, and then we can minimize, maximize those things now we have other things we can do that minimize as well if we do that minimize it will open but it's not going to display it here it will just display in our property work so now it's displaying it here but it's done if we go ahead and open that we can see it from here that it's going to be open okay so now i will make this as well normal okay so this too we now understand that and now already we know that title here main windows so if i put that the ui design so we can see that once i will go to some other tab we can see it's reflected it here directly and we can see that here it's got same so now here we can see that one icon is there now to add that icon here icon is there now if we click on this if we go to where we store that or so if I go, I have this one image, I can add it. So once I will do that, here it's got added. I will go ahead and run this. So we can see that now this icon got here added, right? So like this one, we can change UI also. We can change that display name. Okay. So rest all, what all property we need now. Visible, we know already. Resize, we already we know that okay so resize what is that uh, i think we not discuss so now resize the right now it can resize okay now i can put that no resize okay so if you put that no resize we will not get that that mean max those two minimize and maximize one only we can see this way okay so for that purpose we can use that and resize mode is no resize is scheme and if we go ahead and put that can can minimize or can maximize also we have now if we go and see that 
Now maximize is disabled. Only can minimize it. It's there, right? So in this way, we can go ahead and play with those property and all those things will come from here and we can do a lot more. So we can try to do those things whenever we need that. And uh, one more thing is, I think it's good to know, is tap a stop. Okay. So now this tab stop is now checked. So possible is there, so we can do that focus. Okay. So now we try to understand this tab possible. This tab stop. If I can do that pause. Now let's see that what is going to be happen now. So we can see that much changes here now. I try to find it out one property where we can make that, then it's always going to display us on the top if we click somewhere else also. So for that property name. Let me check that out. Style. Topmost, yeah. So that one property is called that topmost. So if we click that topmost now, see that what is going to be happening. Now it's open it here. Now if I click here, if I try to open anything, okay, still it's going to display that there. So this is called topmost. So now if we do that topmost property as enable, where that topmost here. So this topmost, if we do enable now. And if we disable it, then if I click on this one, then it's going to here. So focus, if we need that always to keep on that, so we can go ahead and make that topmost equals to enable. And then we can do that run. Then it's always going to open this one, whatever we wanted to do. But this design will always open anywhere we can go. Okay. So this is that one other thing. Now. Apart from this, I will tell you one more thing. So now if I go and try to, we already learned that text box. So I have used that one of that text block. Text. Text. So now if I go ahead and try to do that same, okay, if I do that same, you can see that this will be aligned automatically, okay, so now all the other things also get aligned, okay, so if you see it here now, once I do that same, all those that icon, is tab, stop and other things and these things also got aligned automatically, so this will be good if you're doing that number uh, later we'll be designing that complex ui then that time it will be helped so how this is happening so if we go to here extension manage extension so it will describe that and then i will let you know it will take some time now it's describing information so now i have installed one so if we go and try to install that jammer style Styler. Okay, so I have installed this. So first time it will show you to download that. So right now I will here since I install for me it's showing uninstall. You can click here download and install it. So once you will do that, it will be automatically whenever do that save or we can press that control S. It will be automatically take care of this alignment things, and that will help us to do that. Write that more code, we can easily see and we can know that okay, what all we have added in place of going in one horizontal line, uh, sorry, one vertical line, it will go. It's better that it will display in horizontal way, then we can see that easily. So that's all for this video. Thank you.